So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the extension for the Igor Vitomirov edit. So you start off really similar and go into PhotoFox and choose the photograph you want to use. I'm going to do one with less colour this time, but mine's got lots of dark area. So I need to crop that out first before I do the blur. If you leave too much dark area in, your overall picture will look really black and there won't be much of a contrast. So once you've done that, again you go to Effects, Glitch, scroll across the bottom and choose one of the horizontal blurs on there, whichever you want. So I'd suggest you try all three of them out again and see which one you like. You can see from mine, it gives a really different effect for each of them. I prefer the one that's a bit lighter. When you've done that, click the tick. You can see I'm taking screenshots as I go to save as well. Then we need to add a new layer to add the second bit in. But first, I want to turn the contrast up because I forgot to do it at the start. So adjust contrast. Then click the plus, then click the same photo again, and we're going to blur this one again. So you go effects and glitch, scroll across, but this time you want a vertical line. You'll see why in a minute. So try the different vertical line ones on there. Decide which one you think is going to work better for you. When you're happy with it, click the tick. From there, you need to resize your picture. So I'm going to shrink it, but I want to it, flip it now. So I'm going to go transform, rotate, and then I want to have it in the center. So make sure you get your second layer central on your first one. From there at the side, click and hold the first one, hold it over the second and merge your layers together. Export your photo and save it to your camera roll. And there you've got your extension edit for Igor Vitrumirov.